leading the charge behind the Georgia track and field team's second and fourth place finishes at the NCAA Indoor Championships in March, were brother-sister duo Devin and Kendall Williams. Born a year apart, the Williams siblings have established themselves as championship caliber multi-event athletes here at UGA, notching the NCAA track and field's first ever sibling sweep in the pentathlon and heptathlon. We look inside how the Williams siblings notch their historic feat and how they plan to finish out their careers here as Bulldogs. Kendall and Devin Williams learned how to hurdle when they were just starting out in track. What they learned applied not only to obstacles on the track, but in life as well. My dad says whenever he's teaching somebody how to hurdle, he just sets one up and he's like, jump over it like however you want, just to kind of see like, your natural trail leg, lead leg. You have to break that fear first. But I think like with Devin and I, we never had that initial fear. We just kind of went and jumped over the hurdle. Devin arrived at Georgia in the fall of 2012, with Kendall joining him in the fall of 2013. Before they could compete in a collegiate meet together, Devin fractured his hip in the 2013 Pan American Junior Games. Just when he thought he was ready to come back, another hurdle arose. Devin re-injured his hip early in the 2014 season and had to redshirt. It's real, it's real humbling for me because I've been through a lot of injuries and I've had to sit out a lot, uh, a lot of times for a long time. While Devin watched from the sidelines, Kendall soared to a historic freshman season, winning both at the indoor and outdoor NCAA championships. As I was going into my sophomore season, thinking about the freshman season, like, okay, what just happened? Like, and how am I supposed to top that every single year? By the beginning of the 2016 season, Kendall had three titles to her name, and Devin was finally healthy and looking for his first. But yet another hurdle stood in the way, this time literally, as he stumbled over the first hurdle in the 60-meter hurdles at SEC Indoors. Devin failed to qualify for NCAAs as a result. That was definitely a low moment. Um, yeah, last year indoors was definitely rough for me. Devin returned the season for his final title shot at Georgia, while Kendall looked to defend her pentathlon title for four years running at NCAAs. At the national championship, Kendall faced her own hurdle when she finished fourth in the high jump, an event in which she normally excels. Devin trailed by 224 points heading into the final event, the 1,000 meters. Kendall battled her way back to eclipse her opponents for the win. Devin gave everything he had to win the heptathlon by 12 points, just one second's difference. It came down to the last event, and I had to literally be the hungriest person on the track, and I just ran for as long as I could, as hard as I could, and I didn't have anything else at the end. The two were crowned as NCAA champions for the first ever recorded sibling sweep in NCAA track history. It sounds like a movie ending, like a storybook ending, like there should have been some rainfall or something that randomly happened. Devin and Kendall begin their quest for the final titles this weekend at the Bulldog Heptathlon Decathlon. Sibling sweep rolls off the tongue nicely, I like that. I hope we can keep it going outdoor season. Reporting for the Red and Black, I'm Kevin Mobley.